Um, Lena, will you close the door for me? Thanks. Hey, I need everyone in ready position. Like Peyton's ready, and Ava's ready, and Kate's ready, and Cameron. Perfect. I love eyes looking, hands to yourself. It's perfect. Hey, today we are on topic one, lesson three. And if you look up on the board over here, you can see our objectives. This is what, by the end of our lesson, you all should be able to do. First, we're going to read the blue one. You can read it with me. Are you ready? I can make a 10 to help me add quickly. Hey, so at the end of our lesson today, all of you should be able to do what? Add quickly. How are you going to add quickly? Kai, how are you going to add quickly? By making 10s. By making 10s. Hey, I want you to be thinking about that. I don't want you to say it out loud, but I just want you to think, why would making a 10 help you add quickly? I don't want you to say it out loud. I want you to think about it. I see a lot of you have an idea. Why would making a 10 help you add quickly? I want you to tell your partner really quickly how making a 10 will help you add quickly. Brona and Peyton, thank you for showing me as soon as you were ready. Thanks, Kaya. Continue, but you have to know if it is Hey, are you ready? I am ready. I heard Sue, he said, making a 10 will help you add quickly because it's easier to add numbers to 10. And I heard Ava said, if I have 7 plus 3, it would be easier to add if I add 10 instead of 7 because 10s are easy to add to. Hey, let's look at our, our red objective. And this one comes from our poster that we've kind of been practicing and working on for the, for the last few months. Will you read the red with me? I can prove my work using numbers, words, and pictures. So today we'll be talking with our partners a lot, and that will help us prove our work. Remember on our poster it says that we can talk about our own math, but we can also talk about other people's math too. So we'll be practicing both of those things during our lesson today. And the first thing I need you to do, I'm going to put our solve and share up on the screen with our question. You don't have a paper. Kind of cool you don't need a paper today, but you do need two things. You need a 10 frame and you need some counters, some yellow and red counters. So up here's the question. I want you to read that question. And when I call your table, if you come over to my table, you can get a double 10 frame, hey, and you can get some counters. There are some in bags for you, and there's also some in our little containers that have counters in them, okay? So those are the two things you need. When we're using math materials like this, remember these are not toys, they're tools. Where should I put all of these extra counters when I'm not using them? Cameron, where should I put them when I'm not using them? Put your desk or in your cup or bag. Yeah, keep them in your cup or your bag or move them out of the way to the side. Usually, we like to keep them on our name tag, right? That's kind of our home base. So if you're not using counters, they go on our name tag, okay? So that we don't want them to fall on the floor and we don't want them to be distracting our toys to us. While you are waiting to come and gather your materials, I want you to read the question in the green bubble and Kai's table and Mesa's table, will you come over and get your green 10 frames and some counters? And then Ava, you can come get yours. And Ellie's table. Thank you for getting those. As soon as you have your materials, I'm going to give you about four minutes to think about this question, you can use your 10 frame to help you build it. You can talk with your partners. I want you to see how you can solve that. How can thinking about 10 help you find 9 plus 3? Stu's table and Miles' table and Kate's table, you guys just need 10 frames. Cameron, if you need materials, you are more than welcome to come grab them. Okay, how can thinking about a 10 help you find 9 plus 3? Use your 10 frame, use your counters. How are you going to build that? How will the red and the yellow counters help you? How will it help you with that equation?
Okay, it looks like Ava started with reds, and then she moved toward yellow. Most of you, Cameron looks like she's ready. Now that a lot of you have built on your 10 frames and you've kind of problem solved by yourself, I want you to talk to your partner. I'm gonna move our screen up a little bit so we can see our, our sentence frames. <coughs> I want partner A to start with, with what they chose to do. I think blank because, and then partner B, you can respond with either I agree with my partner because or I disagree with my partner because. So partner A, go ahead and start with that sentence frame. Tell your partner your thinking. Do you want to start with I think? Hey, I have an extra question for you. I want you to think about this. Can you make a 10 to find 9 plus 0? I want you to think about that. Can you make a 10 to find 9 plus 0? I want partner B to tell partner A what they think this time. No. Can you, or partner C, if it's your turn. Can you make a 10 to find 9 plus 0? Yes or no? What do you think? What do you think, Stu? Or 9 plus 0. Can you make a 10 to add 9 plus 0? Okay, let's, Easton, tell them why you don't agree. Hey, are you ready? I am ready. Hey, I heard some really, really awesome things during our solve and share. When we were talking about making a 10 to add 9 plus 0, Stu was like, well, I, I think you probably can. That's what we're doing today. We're doing make a 10, so I think you probably can. And Easton, she used our sentence. She said, I disagree because if I have 9 plus 0, I don't have any extras to make a 10 with. That was really awesome, a really awesome way for Stu and Easton both to use our sentence frames and to explain their math thinking to each other. I want a few of you to help me answer this original problem that we solved. I heard so much good math conversation and Ava, Ava was a really helpful teacher over at this table and she had her counters out and she was showing how they moved them around. Ava, will you tell me how you solved that. How did you make a 10 to solve 9 plus 3? What did you do? So I put 9 red 10 frames um, on the first one. And then okay. I, and then I um, put 3 more yellow um, counters on there. And then it, I plus them together and it equals 12. Yeah, so Ava started with nine red counters on the first 10 frame and three yellow counters on the bottom. And when you made a 10, what, what changed? How did your 10 frame change, Ava? Um, I needed to put like two more on the second um, 10 frame because um, you can't put 12 on just a 10 frame. Yeah, she needed to move them around. Raise your hand if you kind of did the same thing as Ava. You started with nine up here, three on the bottom, and then you had to move them around. Hey, this is my question for you. Ellie still has hers built right there. Now, Ellie, at the beginning, when you had nine yellows on the first 10 frame and three reds on the bottom 10 frame, your equation was nine plus three. But that doesn't look like nine plus three anymore. It's, nine, it's ten plus two. What is that now? Ten plus two. Ten plus two. Nine plus two. Yeah. Is it faster to add ten plus two than nine plus yeah. three? Yeah. 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 Stu says yes. Stu, why is that faster? Yeah, you don't have to grab the so nine and count 10, three more. 10, 11, you can do it mentally, right? And ten and eleven and ten, and like so. If you have two, it's twelve. Cause I love that. So smart, Jonah. Like when you don't have ten frames, I realize that if it's nine plus something, you just minus one. It's, you do 10 plus that, and then you just minus 1, like 9 plus 6, just minus 
or something from the six and it's 15. Oh, that's a good strategy because sometimes you might ha not have a 10 frame. Yeah. But you could, you could still kind of mentally rearrange those numbers to make a 10, right, Jonah? Okay, what I need you to do right now, I need your counters on your name tag. They do not have to be cleaned up in your little container. And I also need your 10 frame on your name tag. So Stu, perfectly ready for our video. Cadence is ready. Mace, thank you, I love that. I love that I see hands listening and eyes listening. That's really, really helpful. Today for our lesson for 10 or 1-3, we are going to watch our Another Look video. And during this Another Look video, we will see how to solve a problem, making a 10 to help us add quickly. This will help us get ready for, for our guided practice and our independent practice. So how to make a 10, Another Look. Hey, Lena, will you turn off the light for me and... Oh, thank you, Devin. Library books are important. Thanks, Lena. That's really helpful. Okay, another look. Perfect whole body listening. Thank you for being in ready position if you need to. I like that, Jonah, I like that you, you turned your body so that you're at a better angle to see the screen, which was one of our amazing words today. Yeah, that's perfect. When we're adding two numbers, we can make a 10 to help us. I like the number 10. It's such an easy number to work with. 5 plus 10 equals 15. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 2 plus 10 equals 12. So easy. Well, Marta, you can use 10 to help you add two numbers. It's easy. Here's how. Let's say you need to add 7 plus 4. And let's use counters and 10 frames. We'll use red for 7 and yellow for 4. Hey, I want you to talk with your partner. How is she going to take these counters and these 10 frames, 7 plus 4? How is she going to make that into a 10? <laughs> Thank you, Stu, for showing me you're ready. Thank you, Easton. I'm going to give you about five more seconds. Three. Are you ready? I am ready. Perfect. Hey, let's see how this works out. I have a feeling something might happen that you predicted already. Two of my favorite colors. Let's make ten. We'll move three yellow counters with the seven to get ten. Now, If you did that same thing, I want you to show me a thumbs up. If you said that you would move three yellow counters. Perfect. You can add with ten. Since the counters now show ten plus one. It's ten plus one. Now the math is easier. Ten plus one. Ten plus one is? Eleven. And look how fast that was. That was really quick. Just like it says, I can make a ten to help me add quickly. Equals eleven. And since the number of counters didn't change, seven plus four also equals eleven. Wow! Making ten sure does make adding two numbers a whole lot easier. Anytime, Marta. Okay, I need Lena to turn the lights on for me. And the rest of you, I need you to get a pencil ready to write. Our guided practice today, we will not be doing in our math books. We'll actually be doing it on this paper today. And while we're working on our guided practice, you will need counters. Give me a thumbs up if you have counters. You will need 10 frames. Give me a thumbs up if you have 10 frames. You need a pencil. Thumbs up if you have a pencil ready. Thanks for the smile, Lena. The other thing you will need today are some crayons. You're going to need two crayons. Who thinks they know what crayons you're going to need? Cadence, what crayons do you think you're going to need? Red and yellow. So while I'm passing these out, I want you to make sure you have a red and a yellow crayon ready. 
As soon as you have your paper, you may write your name on the top. Can you go, Ava? And Colin, will you pass those out? Miles? He um, earned a privilege today. Yeah. Will you pass those out for me, Ben? Thanks, Kate. Kate's ready. She has her name on her paper. She has a red and yellow crayon. She has counters. She has a 10 frame. Stu's ready. Perfect whole body listening. I see a lot of names being written on papers. Thank you for getting prepared and ready. Today, while we're doing our math, we're going to be doing three things, and we're going to be doing them in a, in a specific order. First, the first thing we're going to do is build. We're going to build with our... What do you think? Counters. counters. Yeah, we're going to build with our counters. After we build with our counters, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the counters on our paper. Okay, so first build, second is draw. draw. And I'm going to trace the counters. And the third thing we're going to do is we're going to write. Okay, we're going to write the answer and we're going to write new equations. So three things. Who can, can you all tell me what the first thing is? Build. build. Next, draw. draw. Last, write. Right. Perfect, build, draw, write. We're going to do them in that specific order. So you're going to need your 10 frame ready, your extra counters. Easton has all of hers up here on her name tag, so she's ready to build. We're going to do guided practice together, and we're going to start with this first box right here. So our equation, if you look on, on the bottom, is 8 plus 4 equals blank. What's the first thing we're going to do? Kate, what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to put um, um, any color, like you don't care what color, you could you put that color of 8 of them. Okay, so first we're going to build 8. It doesn't matter if you build yellow first or if you build red first, but we need to build 8. Hey Kate, where did you get, how, why did you say we needed to build eight? Why, why not like five or six or four or seven? Why eight? Because if you look right here, it says eight plus four, and you, okay. first have, you have to do one step at a time. Perfect, one step at a time. Our equation tells us eight plus four, so we don't have to do any guessing. We already know we need eight. Peyton, after I build eight yellows, what should I do next? Or maybe you built eight reds. That's okay, too. What should I do next, Peyton? In the second row, you can do that to color, but you put four on the bottom. Okay, we're going to build four on the bottom. And Peyton said, do whatever color you didn't do at the top. So if you did yellow at the top, we're going to build red at the bottom. Okay, eight plus four. Now... Now we've built it, but we still need to make a 10. Okay, how are we going to make a 10? Will you show me on your board? I see Colin doing it right now. Kate got it. Hey, Stu, how did we make a 10? What did you do? You um, add two from the four and um, it's... Okay, why, why two and not one or three or four? Because there's only two state, um yeah, there's two open spaces right there. So we can move two up, and we made a 10. Hey, I want you to tell your partner. We're going to start with partner B, or if you're at a table of three, we're going to start with partner C. You're going to say, I think my new equation is blank because blank. Use your 10 frame that we just built. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, now we've built our, our equation. We've built 8 plus 4. We made a 10. What's the second step that we need to do? Cameron, what's the next thing we need to do? We need to add 10 plus 2. Wait. Oh, wait, we need to color. We need to draw it. Okay, so on my paper, I'm going to draw 8 plus 4. I have my red. I have my yellow. 
I love drying counters because they're so fast and they're so super easy. Can we just draw circles or just Yeah, drawing? circles. That's my favorite, Stu. Okay, there's my eight. Oh, let me let you see it. Yeah, I like to color mine in too, Easton. Eight plus four. Okay, now when I draw my counters and I have to move them, I can't erase my crayon. Ellie, what should I do? What do you, you have, think? You have to cross them out. Okay, I'm going to cross them out and move them. So I have my 8 plus 4, but I know I need to make a 10. So just like I moved them with my counters, I can move them by crossing out 2 do and, cross and drawing 2. I'm, because I moved 2 yellows, when you look at my 10 frame, I'm actually going to draw 2 yellows because I moved 2 of my yellows. Oh, I didn't. That's okay, Ava. We're we're just we're just practicing right now. Okay, so we built we built it on our ten frame mat. We drew it on our paper. Now we need to write our equation. I have ten plus two right now. That's super easy. What's ten plus two? Twelve. twelve. So if ten plus two equals twelve, then I know that eight plus four equals twelve. Did we add any extra counters from, from our name tag from our bags? No. no. Did we take any away? No. No, we just moved them around. So if ten plus two equals twelve, I know that eight plus four also equals twelve. Okay, go ahead and clear off your map back up to your name tag. And we are going to do our second guided practice. Will you point to the equation when you see it, when, you're clear, when your mat is cleared off and you're ready? Kate's pointing with her pencil. Easton's ready. Thanks, Evelyn. Will you read that equation with me? Three, three plus nine, nine equals, equals blank. blank. Hey, we need to build three plus nine equals blank. Go ahead. Build three plus nine equals blank. We're not making a 10 quite yet. Um, can you do nine on the... Three plus nine equals blank. Oh, Easton asked, can I do nine on the top and three on the bottom? What do you think? Yeah. 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 Hey, why would that be okay? Ellie, why, why would that be okay? Because you would still get the same answer. Yeah, when we're adding, can we add in any order? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what if we were subtracting? Would we no, be able to switch no, it? No. No. But yeah. since we're adding Easton, I think that's a smart idea. Sure, you can you can switch those add-ins. Yeah, you did like whatever number well, you subtract, minus 80 or something. Yeah, you that can't switch negative. it. You're right, Miles, but since we're doing addition, Easton's probably thinking it's going to be easier for me to move these around if I have the nine on the top. I think that's super smart, Easton. Hey, whichever partner's next, I think it's partner a. partner a, a turn or B if you're in a three a three partner team. I want you to tell your partner why your mat looks the way it does right now. Why do you have that many on the top? Why do you have that many on the bottom? Okay, tell them why. Tell them why you built that. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, our next step is to make a 10. I want you to make a 10 with your counters. Super fast. I saw a lot of fingers sliding up. How many counters did we have to move this time? One. Just one. Do we have a new equation now? Yeah. yeah. What is it? 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. Is 10 plus 2 really fast and easy to add? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, now that we've built our 10 frame, now we have to draw it. Now we have to draw it. So I'm going to get my red crayon and my yellow crayon out. Going to build nine plus three, or maybe some of you might be doing three on the top and nine. After you draw, you can go ahead and cross out and move the counters that you need to move. Did you notice something down here when I'm looking at my equations? I have three plus nine equals blank. 10 plus blank equals blank. Two. Peyton. Um, it's a different way in the other one. Oh, 
it is written a different way. Yeah, this one we're missing an add end. When we moved those counters around, did we find out what that missing add end was? Cadence, yeah. what is it? Two. two. Ten plus two. Ten plus two equals? Twelve. Twelve. If ten plus two equals twelve, then three plus nine equals? Twelve. Twelve. Hey, now this third one, we've had, we've had a couple of times to practice. So this time, I want you to build it. I'm not going to build it on mine right now. I want you to build it. Once you have it built, I want you to tell your partner why you did what you did. Why did you build it like that? As soon as yours is built, you can start talking with your partner. You know, I think Mace is ready to talk. Cadence can finish up and then join you. Hey, I want to hear some I agrees or some I disagrees. I I I I I I I I I I Hey, how many counters should I have on the top? You can all tell me. Six, six, or six and seven. seven. Six, six or seven. Which? Seven. What do you think would be easier, six seven. or seven? Seven. Okay. And then how many should I have on the bottom ten frame? Six. Okay. After I have six on the bottom ten frame, what should I do, Colin? Um, you should move them and um put. Four yellow ones up there, and leave three down there. Why are, why are we moving them? Colin did six on the top, so his looks a little bit different. Yeah. Colin, no. why are we moving them? Because then, like, it would be harder to add if, um, like, you would have to use, like, a number line or something. Yeah, I might have to use a number line or count with our fingers. But when we move them, what do we make? A ten. A ten, and that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, now I have like do 10, plus 10 plus 3. Do you think, when you look at 10 frames, if you see a 10 frame, like right here, and it's all filled up, do you have to count that, or do you automatically know what that number is? You automatically, you automatically know. Yeah, you it's automatically know it's 10. Isn't that really neat? That's the neatest thing about 10 frames, is that when there's a complete 10, you can just look at it and know. You don't have to count. Yeah. So it's super fast. Okay, so I have 10 on the top, and how many do I have on the bottom? On three. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. Looks like you guys are ready to start your drawing step. Remember, I'm starting with my red. I had seven reds on the top, or maybe you started with yellow. I had six on the bottom. Or you had Maybe um, I had seven on the bottom. Or you might have six on the top and seven on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, I love that about adding. I love yeah, that. You can switch the I know, stuff isn't that so fun? Ways. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Hey, now that I have my seven and my six, I can do some crossing out. Looks like I need to cross out three. After your drawing is complete, I want you to fill in those blanks in those two equations. 6 plus 7 equals blank, and 10 plus blank equals blank. When your equations are filled out, I can tell Stu's ready because of his whole body listening. When your equation's filled out and your partner's equations are filled out, I want you to use our sentence frames. I think, and you can use, the, you can say the whole equation that you wrote and tell them why. Sure, yeah. Yeah. 
Perfect. Thanks for showing me you're ready. Cadence, did you get to talk with your partner? Perfect. Thanks, Teresa. You know what? I'm going to give you your next directions and then you'll be ready. You know what I love? Kai and Kaya were just having a conversation and something was a little bit unclear to Kaya. She wasn't sure and so she asked Kai if he would explain it again and then he explained it again and they were ready to go. That was really awesome. Thanks for being so respectful and so nice even when, even when there was a misunderstanding. Hey, what I need you to do for me is I need you to move those counters in that 10 frame back to the top of your, of your name tag. I need your pencils and your crayons down, and your arms listening, and your eyes listening, so I can tell you what the next step is. Okay, this fourth problem, I'm not going to do it with you. This is going to be kind of like your exit ticket to move on to your independent practice. Okay, so you get to build first, draw, write the equation, and once that is all completed, I want you to bring your paper over to me. It's kind of like your exit ticket. I want to check it and make sure that you're ready to move on. Up on the board, I have a list for you. Once I check off your paper, like if I checked off Jonah's, he hands it to me, I keep it, and I would hand Jonah his independent practice. That's must do. First, you need to do your independent practice. These are the numbers you don't have to do. You're going to be really surprised because when you look at your independent practice, on the top row, are problems that we've already solved today. So you don't have to do those again. You need to do number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then on the back you only have to do 17 and 18. If you would like to try 15 and 16 as a little bit more of a challenge, you are more than welcome to try 15 and 16, okay? Okay. As soon as you finish your independent practice, that goes in my blue basket, and you get to move on to reflex math. Everyone needs to do reflex math today. You at least need to get to the green light. If you're already at the green light, you can continue to play reflex math, or if you would like to do something on the can-do list, you could do that instead. Once you get to the green light, you have a choice. You can keep working on reflex math if, if that's what you choose to do, or you can log on to Pearson. You have two game choices if you click on classes, flying cow incident or fancy flea, or you can go over and get a math center game and play it out with a partner. Easton? Can you play different math games on um, um, These are your two choices today, and they're assigned to you, so they should be super easy for you to find. Flying cow incident or fancy flea. Does anyone have any questions? Before you can get this independent practice paper, I need to see your number four. Ellie, what's your question? Yeah, you're going to do this. Ellie, I love that question. On independent practice, you are going to do the same thing. You're going to build, you're going to draw, and then you're going to write, write down the equation. You will need your counters to build. Um, while you're doing this independent practice, especially maybe when you get to 11, 12, and 13, you might want to have some conversations with, with your partner. That's what your partner's there for. You can talk to them. Hey, I'm having trouble with this one. What do you think? And you can, you can help problem solve. In order to get this paper, I need we, to see problem number have four. To use our crayons too. Yep, red and yellow crayons. You can start your problem number four. You need to build it. I see Evelyn's getting ready to build. Build, draw, write, and then come show me and I'll give you your independent practice. Okay, bring it to me when you're ready. No, you're missing a, an add-in right there. Can you fix that? Okay, perfect. You're ready to move on. Perfect. Miles, thanks. Hey, Mace, can, you, can I check Cameron's first? Okay, sure. Check on the board. Cameron, you're ready to move on. Hold on, I need maces and then I'll check pages. Mace, you're perfect. Paige? Where are the papers? Perfect. Evelyn? They're right here. Perfect. Easton? Perfect. Now, if you check on independent practice on the board, hey, Colin, can I check this for you real quick? Perfect. You can start. 
Ava, yeah. perfect. Jonna, perfect. And Jonna, if you need a, uh, a break, you're excused right now. Will you take this to your desk first and then you can go? That's okay, thanks for fixing it. Perfect, Ellie. Ben, that looks awesome. You're ready, you can take your independent. Perfect. Nice job, Isaac. This would be a great time for a drink break. Let's see, Peyton. Perfect, nice job. Here's your independent practice. Okay, looks good. Make sure you write your name on your paper, okay? Perfect, baby. Nice job. Perfect. Good job, Kaya. Kaya, right here. Yep, write your name on your paper first, okay? As soon as you have your independent practice, make sure your name gets on your paper first thing, okay? Let's see. Nice job. What number is that right there? Two. Okay, good. I put it on top. Hey, Lena, will you bring your independent practice over, or your your exit ticket over here to my table? I need to take four things. Are you fixing it? Okay. Does anyone else still have their quick check cadence? Uh, did I give you two? Yes. Can you just do the answer? Oh, this is really fun, Colin. These are missing numbers. Oh, do you do like... Watch this. You're going to love it. Okay, first we're going to build this one. Will you build that for me? 8 plus 5. Nice job, Lena. So 8 plus 5 turned into something plus 3. What do you think they did? Mm. So what's that missing number? Wait. Oh. What is it? 10, yeah. Is 8 plus 5 and 10 plus 3 the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, they both equal the same, don't they? Perfect. Are you finished, Kate? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Colin. to do this top row because we already did that row and you don't have to do these two and the other is just to do nice. did you finish number oh you don't have to do 14 okay Colin Colin name blue basket oh Sue this is my favorite I'm so glad I get to help you okay we're gonna go ahead and okay 8 plus 5 equals blank plus 13 first let's build this 8 plus 5 will you build that for me and there's our eight. Hey, so this eight plus five turned into something plus three. What do you think? Um, yeah. Oh, You're a genius. So it's a missing number. Mm -hmm. Love it. Nice job, Stu. Stu, that was the best smile when you finished that problem. It was my favorite thing. Hey, friend. Let me help you out here. Those are the ones you don't have to do. Okay, we need to. I want you to read the numbers and I'm going to circle them for you. Will you read them on the board? 11, 7. Okay, got it. 8. Okay. 9. Okay. 10. Okay. 11. 12. 13. 
17. Those are the ones you have to do. You were just backwards. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are the ones you have to do. Because we already did these ones on our guided practice. This one you can do if you want to challenge yourself. Here. These two you can do. Don't Thanks, like explaining. <laughs> you don't like explaining? Explaining's the best. You're so good at it. You're so good at explaining your thinking. Oh, Isaac, I'm, I'm so happy to help you with this. Come here. Oh, that's a good question. But, hey, first I want you to build 8 plus 5. Will you build it for me so we can double check? 8 plus 5. When you're ready to move on to reflex math, make sure you bring me your counters cleaned up and your 10 frames cleaned up, okay? Okay, perfect. So there's 8 plus 5. Now this 8 plus 5 is going to turn into something plus 3. Perfect. Do they both equal the same thing? Does 8 plus 5 equal the same thing as 10 plus 3? Does it? What do they both equal? Dad equals 13 and dad equals 13. There we go. Yeah, I thought there. it was 13. Uh huh. Oh, but then yeah. you're like, what's that extra 3 for? Nice job, Isaac. Will you go grab it and I'll help you with it? You can just leave your iPad on your desk. I just accidentally did 15 and 16 instead of 17. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you can keep your iPad. Cadence, will you bring your paper over here for just a second? Okay, I want to try these ones with you, okay? And you're, oh, you're just in the bathroom. Hey, um, Colin, I think you can problem solve it, or you can get a different device, or you can play it without sound today, okay? Those are your three choices. Okay, I want you to build 8 plus 5 for me. Let me get a pencil. Because these ones are kind of a little tricky. You're gonna Okay, there's... What happened? That's the worst, Kaya. Hey, Lena. Will you bring your paper over here? And also, Lena, will you put five tally marks on the board? Because everyone is on task and, and staying so busy. I love that. Oh, that's so funny. You were reading my mind. Or was I reading your mind? I don't know. He's never going to get 100%. I know it. You don't think so? I think so for sure. Okay, 8 plus 5 is what we have right here. But it's going to turn into something plus 3. What do you think? What could we do with this 8 plus 5 to make it a little bit easier to add? What do you think? Yeah. Hey, how many do we have over here? What's right here? Three. So what do you think that missing number is? Thirteen. Eight plus five equals is the same as what's this number? Ten plus Yeah, so what's our missing number? Ten. Ten. Let me show you something cool. These two numbers right here. What does 8 plus 5 equal? Yeah. And what does 10 plus 3 equal? 13. 13. Are 13 and 13, is that the same? So are they equal? Yeah, both sides equal 13. Okay, let's try this one. 6 plus 9. Can you build 6 plus 9 for me? Thanks, Ben. Ms. this needs to charge. Okay, go ahead, Mace. Go ahead. Thanks, Paige. 
Lena, I love, I love seeing you. How are you doing, Finn? Hi. Okay, we're going to start with number seven. Will you build five plus nine for me? Nice job. You rocked it. You can put it in the basket. This program is really slow. Really? I'm doing it fine, but... I'm sorry, friend. If you want to try a different device, you you can. Okay, so we have on this side 6 plus 9 equals 10 plus blank. How are we going to find out what that number is? We know this one's 10. Love it. Okay, Lena, let's see 5 plus 9. Oh, 5 plus... Okay, so what's our missing number? 10. Plus. Yeah. Hey, friend. How's it going? I would love to help you, 17. Hey, those 10 frames look amazing. That's impressive. Hey, good job. Hey, I want you to try this one. I want you to build 8 plus 9 first. And then you're going to do some rearranging, okay? Alright, then let's see. Draw a picture to show how you can make a 10 to help you add 3 plus 5 plus 9. So we have 3 we need to add. What do you think? What number are you going to start with? 9. Okay. Okay, you have to make a 10. You can put it in the blue basket. Thanks, Miles. Um, can I do my handwriting picture? Um, no, that's not one of our choices. That's but language arts practice stations you can. Okay, so we did our we did our nine, right? We did our five. How many more do we need to add? Okay. Okay, so what would your answer be? We know this is eighteen. This falls in I get eight. Wait, what about that missing number? Yeah. Oh. Now would be a great time to get a drink. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to write your answer down here? Cadence! Way to go, girl! You rocked it! Isn't that cool how it does that? It's the same on both sides. Love that. Okay, you get to skip 14. You already started with 17. So you go ahead and finish that. Hey, Lena, what do we have over here? What's your next step? You built it. What's your next step? Well, I accidentally did it. Um, there's only one at a time. Hey. Oh, you did that one. Hey, we need to draw next. Do you want to go grab your crayons? Yeah. Or you can grab my crayons that are up there by my camera. Well, I took them out of the box. Do you see them? Yeah. Perfect 10 frame cadence. Nice job. Nina, I'll be right back to help you with that. How are you doing, Yuritza? Good. Good. Hey, Kai, how's your um, Chromebook? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me help you out. What other iPad? What other iPad? I'm not sure, Miles. Maybe you could go check Mrs. Haycock's classroom and see if there's another one in there. Did you get it? Hey, look. Did you see that? Hold on. It's going to come back. It was really cool. Nice. That was amazing. Hey, friend. You know, if you build them, it will help you. But they're kind of, um, I would like you to build them first. You don't have to draw them this time, though. It's interesting. Let's see, Peyton. How'd you do, Isaac? Perfect. Oh, there it is. You're welcome. How'd you do, Kaya? Like doing Are you serious? That's crazy. What a weird day. Okay, so so you started with your three, and then you moved your five up, 
and you still have nine down here. So how are we going to make a ten with what's left? Yeah. Can I use this? Um, yeah, you can use the desktop if it's working. Kaden, so I love that. So now we have 10 here. How many do we have down here? Seven. Seven, so that's 10 plus seven. Kaden, I love that you thought to make three 10 frames because you had three numbers. That was so smart. Hey, last one. How are you doing, friend? Okay, let's start building. Ready? Or I could be on the No, we're not doing these ones. This one? This one? This one? This one? Hey, friend. Nope. 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 Yes. Yes. Lena, I'm so happy you lost that tooth. I know, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, this is my favorite one, Yaritza. I'm so happy I get to do it with you. Hey, can you build 8 plus 5 for me with your counters? Here, let's put them up here. Hey, Colin, will you move your clip up? Thanks for being such a hard worker. Yeah. You got your tree? Where'd I go? I'm so happy I'm, for you. I'm, I'm still growing. Your tree's still growing? Yeah, I think so. But that's I a good thing. Check. As long as it's still growing, that makes us I'll happy. I'll probably get a, a, like a little pond. That'd be <sighs> special, huh? Yeah. Hey, so we have eight plus five. We want it to be something plus three. How are we going to turn that into something plus Can three? I if um, no one is using it, but I kind of think, I think Mace is using it. His name isn't on it. Oh, he mu it's not on laptops? Oh, he, he must have forgotten. You'll have to get a different laptop. Um, what do you think? Take two and put it at the eight. Okay, yeah, put two at the eight. So how many do you have up here now? Ten. And how many do you have down here? Thirteen. You have thirteen down here? Um, yeah, ten and three. So eight plus five equals thirteen. Not thirteen. Okay. What's your new equation? Oh. Thanks, Ivy. Equals. How many do you have right here? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Plus how many do you have down here? Three. Yeah, let me show you something. Eight plus five equals. Thirteen and ten plus three equals thirteen. Thirteen. And the equal signs in the middle. So thirteen and thirteen are they equal to each other? Are they the same? Yeah. So what would this missing number be? Ten. Yeah. Jonna, do you need help with with a missing number? Because those are my favorite ones. You know what? Go ahead. Okay, I want you to build this one now. Build six plus I know nine. What nine for plus me. six plus ten is. Oh, well, I have to build it. You know it's so actually it Jonah. It. Let me show you something. I know it's twenty-five, but why do I have to build it? We're actually. For me, building is harder. You know what I want you to notice? Right here in the middle. What is that? Equal. Equal sign. So that means this equation and this equation have to be equal. If they're equal, what are they? Both the same. Yeah, they're both the same. So 8 plus 5, what does 8 plus 5 equal? 13. So if this, if this equation equals 13, what does this equation need to equal? So you're a little bit frustrated about building it. Let me, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do one step at a time. So first, I know you don't like to build it, but you're su you'll be super fast. Can you build 8 plus 5? Right here, but you don't need this because you're still building. I want to see um, a drawing on that 10 square. I know it's 13. That's actually not a 13. And if you build it, you're going to see why. Will you build 8 plus three, 5 for me? Okay, build 8 plus 5. I know it's 10, but I have to. Okay, you have to prove it. Remember, that's one of our making arguments. So you have to prove it to me that that number is 10. And you can prove it with pictures. Love that. So what's your missing number? 10 plus... Oh, bless you. 
Wi-Fi. Yeah, perfect. You got it. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, so how, how does that prove to me that this missing number is 10? And it's Okay, and what does that Perfect. See, that's how you proved it to me. So what's your missing number right here? Not 13. 10? Yeah, 10. Do you need a pencil? Yeah, now would be a great time for a bathroom break. Here. Missing number, and then we're going to... We're gonna build this one and you'll see. It can't be nine plus six plus We're not no because right here is that a plus? No, it's an equals. But first let's finish this missing number because we just found it. Eight plus five is the same as ten plus three. Okay, so now we need to see six plus nine is the same as ten plus what? Is this right? Perfect. Way to go, girl. You rocked it. That was amazing. Okay, you are on. You don't have to do 14, okay? And you don't have to do 15 and 16. Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, you don't have to do those ones. You're, you're perfect. You're on a roll. 17 and 18. I want you to build 6 plus 9 for me so that you can prove to me your answer in pictures. Mm hmm. Look how I am. Are you serious? That's amazing. Have you gotten the green light yet? Yeah. You have? Where'd it go? Today yes, already? Yeah. That's amazing. Yesterday I had the green light. You did? Yeah. You're doing so good. Do you know what I noticed? I was looking at reflex math this morning. You read that and you're 80%. I was 100. I You're only 20% from 100. I think I'm 98 or 99. Okay. I was 100 for a Hey, are you ready to prove? You have 6 plus 6 right now. Yeah. Here, you can use all of these. How's it going, Stu? What? How's it going? Your game, it's so fast. I know. It's fun? Yeah, it's it super fast. Yeah, it's oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, what are you gonna do, Jenna? So, what's your missing number? So, 6 plus 9 is the same as 10 plus 15. 1,425 tokens? That's insane. Well, yeah, this, this picture right, this equation right here should match your time frame. Isn't it five? There we go. Hey friend, now would be a great time to get a drink. How you doing cute girl? Are you finished? Do you need help with this one? Okay, let's build it over here. Let's build eight plus nine first. This one's kind of the same as these ones on this side. I like that you drew a picture. That was a really smart strategy. Go ahead, Ellie. How are you doing, Lena? Good strategy. Draw your ten frames. I love that. You can you can um, draw pictures. You can use equations. You know what, Cadence? I love that you always move them from the end. Can you check how fluent I am? I'd love to check how fluent you are. What's your missing number? Six. Perfect. You're so good at that. You're like the queen of missing numbers. Do you want to know how fluent you are? Yeah. Okay. Let me... Meow meow. Are you going to do something for the fact that it does intervention time or something? Yes, I will. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I am going to do time. I want to see what um, was on the emergency center, too. Yes. Okay, you We're going to do these. 
and just do them not on the paper yeah. though, the reteach. They have the same thing. They do have the same thing. They have different What's your password? password? I'm not telling you my password. Poster do too. It's not. Okay, good try though. <laughs> Nice try. Oh, you wanted to know. Kate, 94. You're so super close. Let's do 80. You're super close. You're the same as your answer. You're 82. Isaac, 71. Can I tell you? So close. Can I call you? No. Not right now. Yesterday, because like I went, I lost the so I could have like What's Ben? What's Ben? Um, Ben can cast. Okay, so what's your mistake? Perfect. There we go. We got it. Can I not do this? Can I get my computer? You do not have to do number fourteen. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. You don't have to do fourteen, but you do need to do seventeen and eighteen. Um, probably about 10 or 15. I don't know what to do over here. Do you, you have to draw a picture. Here, what do you think? What do you think you should do? You have three numbers, and you have two 10 frames. You have to make a 10, though. What do you think you could do? Um, press out all of them. Okay, and where are you going to put them? And, uh, five. Okay. Okay, now that 10 frame is going to be empty, right? Okay, so you have one more number. You did your three, you did your five. Could you, can you use this empty 10 frame for your nine now? Okay. Love that. You know, I want you to just draw. Because I think building it's kind of slowing you down a little bit. Will you draw four plus nine? Oh, you have to move some, yep. Oh, I know, that was a close one, huh? I remember, some of those you, you weren't, didn't cross out anymore. Thanks, Kaden. You know, if you want, Jonah, you can write an equation. You can use words. If using a picture is not helpful to you, do you want me to remind you how we do how I draw my ten frames? Yeah. Okay. No, I'll show you though. You don't have to use that one. Okay. Rectangle. Okay. Okay. Line down the middle. And then one, two, three, four. Only four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. First yeah. time I do. Yeah. We're going to have a 20 frame. I got a lot. I know. That was impressive. I got a lot. Yeah. You can change your plan. Maybe you can just wrap. Because it's kind of going to throw them off if we were trying to do it. Maybe we can just wrap up with the... Um, your objective. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's better. Are we good? Yes. Seventeen. Okay. You know, I want you to start cleaning up and put these in the basket, even if you're not finished. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So will you make sure your name's at the top? Yeah. Okay. Lena, I love that. Hey, it is time for us to log off of devices. When your device is cleaned up, I want you to meet me back at your desk. Okay, when your device is cleaned up, I want you to meet me back at your desk. What do you need, friend? Do you need this? I'll move, you know, that one, those ones are actually in a bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you when you meet me at your desk. Hey, Mason, Kai, will you clean up your technology, please?
Hey, Mace. Mace, your bag is on your desk for your headphones. Thanks, friend. You're the best. Thanks, sweet girl. That's strange. I know. That's a lot of fun. That's really funny. Thanks, Jonah. Hey, Peyton, will you do me a favor? Will you put both of these 10 frames away for me? Will you do Jonah's and Kai's for me? And Cadence, will you take that bag back to Mace? And Lena, will you um, stack those 10 frames really nice and neat for me? In about two minutes. Okay? We have one last thing to do before we finish math. If you sit down, I will tell you. I know, Lena. We, no, you can do it. You're, you'll be so good at it. She can do it. She's amazing. She's impressive. Hey, you have 10 seconds to be in your spot. Except for Lena's going to finish that. 10. Let me help you out. 9. 8. Look at that whole body listening from Yuritsa. She's been a rock star today. Seven, six. Kai, love it. Cadence, perfect. Six, five. Four. Three, two, one. Hey, whole body listening. Thanks, Mace. <laughs> I know, you thought you were going to trick me, but. You're supposed to get five, four, three, two, one. I know, that was a good one. Hey, we are finished with math for today, but before we end, I want to look back at our objective. Will you read the blue objective with me? I can make a 10 to help me act quickly. Our goal was at the end of this lesson, at the end of the day today, that we would be able to do that. That we would be able to make a 10 to help us add quickly. What I need you to do, if you are partner A or partner C, I want you to start. I think I can make it tend to help me add quickly because why does that help you add quickly? I want you to tell your partner. You either agree or you disagree. I can make it tend to help me add quickly. So tell Stu why you think you can do that. Why does it help you add quickly? Disagree with Paige. Did you tell her? Make sure. Oh, is it Kate's turn? Okay, are you ready? I am ready. I really love Easton when she was telling Stu, she said, I think that it's easier to make a 10 to add quickly because if I had 7 plus 6, that might be kind of hard. But if I added 10 plus 4, it'd be a little bit easier. And I like that Easton, when she was explaining, she used a math example. She used an example to tell Stu why she was thinking that. So that was a good way to prove your answer. Which brings me to our red objective. Will you read that with me? I, I can prove my work using numbers, numbers words, words, and pictures. Hey, if you used, if you proved your work today using numbers, I want you to clap your hands two times. Ready? Hey, if you proved your work today using words, maybe talking out loud to your partner, I want you to look at your partner and I want you to give them one high five and then look back at me. If you proved your work using words. Oh, air high five. I love those. Okay, and our last one, I can prove my word work using pictures. If you proved your work using pictures, I want you to stand up and sit down. Hey, Mace, what did you do using pictures? How did you prove your work today using pictures? I did like five, if it was five plus seven, I put seven at the top and five on the bottom. Then I crossed them out and put an arrow where they were going to Yeah, go. I love that. You drew them all out, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So you used pictures, words, and numbers in your equations today. If you feel like at the end of our lesson today, you can make a 10 to help you add quickly, give yourself a pat on the back because you achieved your goal. 
If you feel like you did all three of these things today, you used numbers, words, and pictures to prove your work to someone else, I want you to give yourself another pat on the back because you've made your second goal. Those are both things that we wanted to do today. So I'm really proud of you. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to push in your chairs and quietly meet me at the rug.